Hey everyone, welcome to Now I'm Adam. I'm Bruce. And welcome back to the show where we treat every story with respect and equality. Unlike fucking Google that just said it's not gonna bring Google Fiber to Los Angeles. What, what a fucking shit company. Fuck them, that's stupid shit. That's not good. Google's Google Alphabet Senior Vice President and former Access CEO Craig Barrett, or Barrett? <laughs> announced the news yesterday on the official Google Fiber blog. Yeah, specifically, Barrett writes that Google will pause our operations and offices while we refine our approaches in most of its potential fiber cities. And just because we want to destroy your dreams, that includes Dallas, Jacksonville, Oklahoma City, Phoenix, Portland, San Jose, Tampa, and Los Angeles. Fuckers. Fuckers. So Damn. what the hell's going on, Lawrence? What's going on? Apparently Google wants to ruin our dreams of watching all the porn all at the same time. All of it. Like all simultaneously? Yeah, I bought Damn. I bought at least 500 monitors ready for Google Fibers. Just <laughs> everywhere. Oh, Damn it. Hell. Unfortunately, like typical company announcements, there's not much in the way of actual information. Barrett spends a couple of paragraphs talking about how amazing Google Fiber is and how it's changed the landscape of uh, uh, just smashing paradigms, blah, 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 whatever. And then some vague verbiage about, quote, making changes to focus our business and product strategy and the need to, quote, focus on new technology and deployment methods to make super fast internet more abundant than it is today. Which translates to layoffs and cancellations. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, Bloomberg reports that 9% of Google Access staff is on the chopping block, which translates to 130 jobs out of the total of 1,500 employees. Oh, wow. So for what it's worth, Barrett promises that Google Fiber will be unaffected in cities where the service is already launched or is actively under construction. So yeah, just go ahead and brag about it, Louisville, Kentucky, you assholes. Man, they're just <laughs> grinning with their toothless grins. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Bastards. Uh, for real, though, why is Google scaling back on fiber deployment? Lawrence? Again, we're, they're smashing our dreams of downloading every Grateful Dead album while watching all the porn. Uh, <laughs> that was your dream? That was a weird dream. That's a neat test. Uh, so for starters, Bloomberg cites a former Google executive in claiming that many inside Google disputed the decision to play fiber in major cities in the first place. Hmm. Google Fiber requires physical construction. It's a sort where you have to actually tear up roads and sidewalks to lay down fiber optic cable. Doing that in an urban center is much more complicated and expensive than in less populated areas where you just, I don't know, it's like dirt, you gotta shove the horse carriage off the side and <laughs> just throw it in the major middle of the street, it's fine. Uh, it's possible that after deploying in several major cities, Google found that the cost of construction didn't justify the revenues from larger consumer bases in those cities. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, there may be other layers of corporate strategy involved as well. Jack Dahl research analyst Jan Dawson theorizes that, quote, the sheer economics of broad scale access deployments finally became too much for them and that most of the reasons Google got into this in the first place have either been achieved or have been demonstrated to be unrealistic. So what are those reasons? Like most of the story we don't know for sure and probably never will, but there's been a lot of speculation as to why Google would enter the internet service provider game in the first place. Time Magazine reporter Sam Gustin analyzed the move back in 2012 when Google first announced their Fiber initiative. Gustin concluded that Google Fiber is, quote, about serving notice to the existing US broadband community and vividly illustrating how bad we've fallen behind in internet broadband speed competitiveness. Basically, Google invented their own high-speed, low-cost service to drive other service providers out of complacency. Why? Because Google's an internet company and they need a fast infrastructure to provide a good service. Lawrence, is that true? Well, sure, of course. Uh, you're not likely to use Google Search, Gmail, Docs, or any other Google product that's running on shit-ass Time Warner internet. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, it gives you a bad consumer experience, and then you associate that with the company, and then you don't want to use their products. Yeah. So, yeah, it, sure, it seems like a drastic corporate play to tear up sidewalks and streets in major American cities just to pressure companies into letting you download porn faster. But that's what happens when megacorps get into money fights. They, <laughs> they can tear up major cities just for the sake of making the Internet a little faster. And it actually may have worked. Uh, this is all anecdotal, but at least in Los Angeles, Internet speeds have noticeably jumped up in the last two to three years. Today, Spectrum, formerly Time Warner Cable, which is a different company from Time Warner, it's all very complicated, oh, whatever, yeah. offers up to 300 megabits down, yeah. which is part of an upgrade program that Time Warner Cable first announced in 2014. I'm signed up for that. Uh, so yeah, correlation is not causation, but certainly large companies have no reason to invest in their own infrastructure unless a competitor forces them to. So even if Google Fiber isn't in or coming to your city, you may have them to thank for a slightly better internet experience. Yeah, or you're in a smaller town and no corporation gives a fuck about you. We're sorry, we really are. But uh, we, I, I, honestly, Google doesn't give a fuck about us though because we're in Los Angeles and they canceled Google Fiber in Los Angeles. Yeah. So they don't give a fuck. It, it has gotten better here. And Elon Musk is going to put blimps up in the air to give uh, internet to all the poor people. Here? So. In Los Angeles? Around the world, baby. I'm kind of poor. Louisville's got fried chicken and internet. What is it? What, is it? what do you call it? your disability dog or whatever? A uh, service dog. Yeah. That is the worst fucking program. Oh. Service animal. I'm yeah. sad, so I have a dog. Yeah. 
Great, now I get to hear it bark next to me all the time. Exact same mentality loophole. gets you pot. That's right. true, except In pot. California. Pot doesn't make me bark and like scratch at the wall. Sometimes it might. It does. It's good. I haven't well, found it yet. 